quick. Syro, meanwhile, you know, he has the Roy, he has the Krom, he has the Meta Knight. Which one of those do you think would be optimal against a Wario? Oh, uh, Roy for sure. Roy? Uh, I think uh, the range that Roy has, even if the DS, the each one to play close combat, I think it definitely works out better. I think it's also the way Meta Knight like, is in the air, it's just really easy for Wario to so over himself. I follow this either Roy or the Krom. I don't think the Krom will come out. It's not as refined as the Roy, so. Yep, we're going to be seeing this, and we'll see how this goes down, everybody. Australian Menace. That is the political duty against Syro. Game one, how will he press the neutral options early? Because we've seen so far in earlier sets, if DD gets off to a hot start, he will get off to a hot finish. Yeah, we'll have to see though. Just get uh, interrupted by that up tilt and get a little bit of a juggle situation here. Right now, this game is kind of them trying to chase each other down with something, and then it doesn't work, and the other person chases it down instead. So we'll see who is able to actually to really convert something really big. Now, okay, it's going to be Didi, actually. Getting a really good edge guard there with that down here, too. That's how he's immediately drifting downward, trying to get a good recovery. Not all the way to the blast zone, but that's no matter because Roy's up special won't send him as horizontally as he needs. Okay, that was nice. Alrighty, uh, use the like up throw to elicit a neutral get up and then use the side beat for a couple of chance to, to close out the stock instead. Took up enough real estate to just send him right to the side special as well. Another down air. Whoa! Okay. Interesting. <laughs> An unfortunate air dodge there from Syro, and that will put him down the stock. Yeah, I mean, did you see how fast he fell downward afterwards, too, from there? Like, I didn't know it would spike like that. That was crazy. Yeah, it does have a fairly strong hitbox if you manage to get it in the right spot. Yeah, definitely not expected. And there we go. Double edge dance one more time. Ooh, and the boy's not on the other side. Not quite enough to do it. Town City is a little bit of a larger stage. So you have to be careful about that. Okay, situation. No, not gonna quite hit the ground, but there we go. Back there. Close out. Zyro keeping it close here. Falling back air with the help of the bike to extend the hitbox a little bit, and that will be a bit of a wake up call for DD as he just can't keep up the neutral if he's throwing out these unsafe options. Alright, bike is up there. Now he's blown up already, but that gives DD an opportunity. Now he's finally back on stage though. From the block, will he be able to use it? I'd go for a counter conversion instead. Oh, the up tilt. You can tell he wanted it there. You can tell he wanted it a moment ago, but Syro, even after missing the tech, just didn't fall off stage. Missed his opportunity somewhat there. All right, here we go. The command grab. Focus back on stage. He reverses the command grab. That's one of the first times I've seen that from a Wario player. But... Yeah, especially if you can control your movement. Is... Oh, no way. No way. Wow, that did it. Even DD does not look satisfied with that. And Cyro's just like, yep, just another day in the office. That is it. That is game one going to Cyro. Yeah, Robbed. Of course, DD, a foreign player, not quite used to that 405 because that was highway robbery right there. DD, you know, he was in the lead for almost the entire game after the first stock and just lost it very close yeah. to what could have been. Yeah. We got we gotta we gotta keep things in perspective though, because he is playing Wario, so he's he's definitely stolen a lot of matches from other people as well. Yeah. So. so he's getting a little bit of a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, that might just be his comeuppance yeah, at this it's, point. It's his karma catching up to him. Well let's see. But anyway, yeah, man, this is this is so cal turf. He can't expect to just come in here and not expect any challenge. Here we go. Cyro taking the first game with a great double no chance there. Now the up throw is going to start it off with Didi. Once again, I believe Didi is, you know, someone has to run the stats on this for me because Didi has been getting first hit and first blood in almost every game we've seen from him so far. Just comes out of the gate very, very fast. I think that's just in the nature of Wario as well. Because usually what you're going to do is like, come in with an air, you know, like, sometimes he's just not a critter you have to take him. Yeah, but even so, you know, he has these options. He can throw out the bike right away if he wants to mix up. Go for an up air or an up tilt to start something off. So many ways you can approach from that starting position. Alright, let's go. Tilt, Syro. That double edge chance into the up smash. Wow. Right into the read. Didn't want to be there. And didn't want to be there at that time. Yeah, that was very nice actually. Used to wanting to do a double edge chance. Would not connect because we got the ledge. Okay, I'll just wait. 
and then elicit a reaction out of him, and he then just immediately raised the attack. Could have been like a half read, half reaction as well, like he was trying to drift back and just take that counter attack afterwards. It's what it divides this time. Once it is available, and at his disposal, he can the recovery, but he won't need to recover right now as well. Time to dance attack. Double edge dance, meanwhile. Sending Mario almost to the last zone. Oh, almost had that check base after the weak back there. Not quite enough, though. Gets him with Nair 1 as well, drags him to a very weird spot. Just sends him backwards, which I don't think Didi does anticipate. Good back air from Didi. Up tilted a bit too early as if to celebrate there, but that's not going to take it. That back air will. Okay, yep, that is the <laughs> textbook definition of the boy. Uh, roll pressure at the ledge, reaper roll, and then kill, man. Yeah, that response only took a matter of seconds. Good jab into that there. Try to get rid of it. I think he either tried to get rid of it or pick it up. That didn't work out. He jabbed it instead. So that left him open for counter attack there. Oh, down air into up smash. That was pretty nice. Wanting to finish stock three, the same way he finished stock one. All right, he does have the last available, so it's my question of whether he's going to use it to close out this stock or to use it for the last he wants stock. To. He's going for dash max, perhaps unsafe kill options, but the down air will seal it out, and now he does have the walk bit availability. Had game one stolen from him, but not going to be able to steal game two. The jab into back air. Royce will take that eight days of the week, twice not Sunday. Didi in a bit of a hole for the first time. Yeah. Looking a little bit flustered here. Cyro, of course, calm collected. He rarely shows emotion in any place. Uh, he's a very um, cool and collected player. Like so oh, nice SSBM, and of course, we had GS Sun earlier, too. Thank you so, guys, so much, guys, for following 2G Gaming, supporting us. And there, before we cut to the match right there, if you looked over Didi's right shoulder, you can see a woman who I believe accompanied him into the venue today. I have to imagine that's his mother is traveling at the same time. Yeah, I mean, Didi looks like <laughs> yeah, so much young talent we've seen throughout Smash Ultimate, and DD get another in his line of progress. Yep, definitely. All right, well, let's see. Oh, tech chase on the platform already. Big trade. Ooh, early recovery actually beats out the, the down air hitbox that time around. Cyro is ready for it. Fall in there into dash attack from DD. Gets him back to the bike. Yeah, he's really pushing the edge of his recovery. They're finally going to get called out there, though. DD is on the edge guard. He's working very nicely. I'm not sure that DD is referring to his directional inputs, but if he's getting these down downers as often as he is, you know, it's no question for him. Goes for the up tilt and up air. Once more, doesn't get it. Runs right into the waiting jaws of yeah, the Jaws are definitely have a larger hitbox than you would expect. I kind of get back in sometimes. So. They do intercept quite a bit. Yeah. Good follow up from the jab. That is still not enough to do it. Cyrus still not in too bad of a position. Roy can kill really early, but it really depends. It's either, like we're seeing right now, he either kills really early or really late. You have to get the right setup for it. And it looks like DD's quite eliciting those uh, technical situations that Roy wants. So. Making it more difficult for him to find a kill. So let's see. This is a back air. This is an up air. Not that type of up air. The other type of up air. It's not happening, dude. 175, you do not want a warrior to live this long. Something dude. at this point. He once more gets him with a bite. Goes off stage. Gets him with a nair. And he's going to be sent right back. Three stocks to make up in a waft on deck. But DD, this is looking dismal for Silo for game three. Still has two games to play with, of course, but that may be cut in half. We'll have to see though. I mean, he can blow up the even up the He didn't even fumble for it. Hoping to catch the guy. Yeah, he can finally the board over here. Now, how would you play this if you're Cyro? Because you can't take refuge on the platform. Easy walk as soon as you do. You can't hide under the platforms because that's an up tilt. You can't hide between the platforms because that's a dash attack to put you up this way. What options do you really have? I mean, He's making the most out of it so far. I mean, he got that forward smash, and that was like a huge step. He leads the roll inward and gets the walk as his reward. Didi takes game three, and Cyro, you know, not invincible.
We do have to consider, though, that Sa Didi did go to that counter pick twice, so he had to take a little bit more time to adapt to Cyrus play style. So now Cyrus has the opportunity with two counter picks of his own. So we'll have to see what goes down here. Strange Theory Gamer, thank you so much for the follow here at QG Gaming. Going to Stadium 2, alrighty. They're going to get some early kills with uh, with Roy, I'm sure. So either way, it's going to be earlier kills. Also, there's less time in the blast zone, uh, since there's not that much of a low floor. Sandro is mulling this over. You can perhaps see the switch to Chrome. We do see the switch to Chrome. Yep. I mean, that last game, especially, he did have a hard time trying to get the kill. So seeing that as a detriment to his play as Roy, he can never return to Chrome instead. Yeah, perhaps foregoing some of these early kill setups in favor of not being, you know, at 170% still struggling to find the kill. Good 36, 49%. From DD. Okay, he uses the ether to try to get out of there. Not quite gonna work. Yeah, and he was getting edge guarded as Roy anyway, so might as well just go calm. And, like, if he's gonna get edge guarded anyway, might as well just go calm. And protect them. Yeah, it's not quite Vegas, it's not quite Evo, but Cyro is still going all in here. Yeah, we'll have to see. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a really bad place to be in, though. He wants to take it with him, he just gets <laughs> around it. DD was doing everything in his power to not. Take it down with Cyro. Ooh, nice tech chase with that. Cover both sides of the mic too, actually. Got a late hit of that uh, with one hit. He's not gonna fall for some of these, you know. That might have killed day one. Who no. Gets one up air, but doesn't find anything off of it. Perhaps the back air might have been the answer if he's in the right position. Oh, he's having a hard time getting something going here. Gotta really start to really recollect himself. Tech chase situation. Oh, the four throw comes out a little bit too early, actually. Expert reaction time. He just charges that up. Interesting. I wasn't aware that Cyro was just going to challenge that, but he did, and that DBZ is going to work in DB's favor. Yeah. I mean, sometimes when they're ending up uh, holding down like a charge, sometimes they don't expect you to actually go for it. They don't go for it the time. But DD was ever ready right for it, so he's got a two stocker one thing right now. I think he's swapped yet, so this is looking like a game five scenario here for Cyro. Cyro already 52%. You have to imagine with any setup, Waff can kill if he's in the right half of the stage. He saw you, he was looking for a technical win right there. Wanted it. He knew Cyro did it earlier in game three. Gets he's him with dead. He's dead. He is. That four tail, such a great semi spike. Just sends him at a complete 90 degree, or 180 degree. Yeah, gravity. Sends him below 180 degree. Because obviously it starts at 180 degree, but gravity soon takes over. Yeah, negative 10 degrees, let's call it that. Yeah, definitely a bad spot for Crom to be in. Get your protractors out, everyone. We'll get it. We're measuring this. Gets right back to Roy. Right. Wanted no part yeah. of what was an awful time off stage. Game five in Winter Semis. This is clutch time for the both of them. Spot. Winners finals on the line. Back to DS2. Wow, <laughs> that's that so low because of gravity, like you said. Roy is a bit of a fast baller, so I think one of the fastest ballers in the game. So he is. That's definitely was pretty really rough with that boy. So, but he's back in position now. Ooh, interrupted immediately with that though. Throwing out some of these airs, of course the edge escape, but now it's Cyro with some of these fares all aboard the fair train. I like it. Yeah, I've reached double jump too. Got a big opportunity. Forced out directional air dodge, but not quite anything else. Tech take situation into four till he finally finds it. Yeah, good dash cancel into a potential kill option. And Cyro, if he sees the opportunity, he's like a hawk, he has that eagle eye. Any time necessary. Oh no, but he gets him off stage as well. And Wario with the air. That trade will work in his favor. Yeah, DD has a really high success rate with his edge guards. Even if he doesn't get the initial one, he usually gets him back into a position where he needs to edge guard again. And then he finally gets the kill afterwards. So DD is looking very nice. Yeah, Prom and Roy, of course, characters that are prone to full recoveries and even when not sent to the blast zone, had trouble making it back from the empty character. It's a player with enough experience to see you. Someone who has money, edge guard, and tools as Wario has. That can really not work in favor. What was that for me? Oh, you want to try to do one for a down smash and then extend the hurt box with the bike. That's what we're trying to do. Well, let's see. How did you get back to the stage? 
gotta go in and get some get up attack. Wow, the swat swats him right out of the bike. And Syro upwards of 120%. Woo! Chase did not get it. Goes deeper and gets the kill with the bike. But no, oh, he does make it back. I thought it would have been pineapple there for a second, but that mo motorcycle, that Geico insurance. Yeah. Saves him plus 15% on that. All right, here we go. Uh, this is really scary to be in. If he gets anti air once, he's pretty much dead. Oh, if he gets red on a roll once, that's, he's pretty much dead. Oh, he's dead. No, he's not. Oh, my God. I don't think he even expected that to connect that way. Cyro's life is flashing before his eyes almost as much as Wario is flashing right now. Wants this wasp confirmed. Cyro doing everything in his power to not let it happen. Rolls around the up tilt. Oh, but reads it with the dash attack. Man, he's really comfortable right now. Double edge dance. Not quite gonna do it. Cyro gotta find. Oh, he actually got rid of the waft. That's really big for Cyro, actually. He's just gotta find the stock here. Easier said than done. Potentially get in. Yeah, this, like you said. Okay, there we go. Finally gets the forward tilt. Big opportunity. He robbed him of that game one, too. So he can definitely do it again if he wants to. That's the scary part. Yeah, of course, Roy can find you in a moment's notice, and it could be it's the start of something new if Judy isn't especially careful. No way. No way. He's gonna do it. He didn't want the, it's just inevitable at this point. The script is being written. Yeah. So the SoCal Defenders, man. So if the script wants it, they'll get it. Super armor, no match for plot armor. Wow, he's... Oh, okay, the dare. Not actually will do it. Okay. Dive bombs in. Yeah, DD clutches is out. Got a small pop-up there. Already. Alright, everyone, hold on.